Hi, it's No Gravy. And Marilyn Binti. For On The Record Mag. Today, we're looking at Logan Street Market in Louisville. So right outside of Logan Street Market right now, where there's over 30 different chefs and merchants who are selling their goods to the Louisville community. The building is a two-story indoor market with restaurants on the first floor and merchants on the second floor. Right now, we are headed to Hazel and Hunt, which is a locally owned clothing store in Kentucky. Okay, so how long have you been working at the market for? I've been uh, working here since we opened in early October. Okay, and how's it been so far? So far, it's been really great. The reception of people coming down has been amazing. Uh, the weekends are packed. You can barely get around the market, which is a really nice feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Makes us feel popular. Right. So, like, do you think this is going to be something that's, you know, really good for Louisville? And yeah, I think it's going to be great for Louisville. I actually was raised in Cincinnati and lived in Seattle, so I've been around public markets and almost everywhere I've worked, and it's just a wonderful place because you can have, you know, friends can meet up here right. there's a bunch of food you can get your grocery shopping done you've got coffee it's got a little bit of everything right. it's kind of like what we used to go to malls for but it's not so corporate it's really local it's hyper local actually um, and the addition of having a farmer's market on Wednesdays and Sundays really pulls together that local focus right and what's one thing that you wish that you know people who haven't really heard about the market what's something that you wish that they knew about it I definitely have to say um, it's all about the bodega for me, <laughs> uh, which is the grocery. I actually work there as well. Um, and so there's fresh local produce um, as well as non-local. Um, and just a really good variety of groceries. And I think one of the best parts about it is that you can stop by the coffee shop or even the bar and grab something to drink while you shop, which I feel like you really can't do much anywhere else right. and that's really nice um, and you can also grab something to eat before you grocery shop because we all know what happens when you don't do that right next we're headed to a pasta and spice shop okay so um how long have you worked here i've been working here for about three days now uh off and on uh we actually i'm cousins with the owners so they started out at finley market in downtown cincinnati and uh so then they moved here and i live just right across the river in indiana and needed some extra help, so I came and helped them. Right, okay, and so what change do you hope that this market creates in the world? Um, I really hope they get some more foot traffic. The area it's in it needs a little bit more, um, so hopefully it gets a little busier with the foot traffic and uh, more people brought in. I think a lot of it just needs more advertisement. Right, okay, and what inclined you to start working here? Um, it's a family business, um, like I said, and just uh, I got laid off from my other job uh, for the slow snow season. Right. So then, yeah, they needed some help here, and also I like all the cooking and spices, so got me a job here. I mean, what do you wish more people knew about the market? Um, I think just where it was located and, like, all the vendors. Like I said, there hasn't been much advertisement for this place, so I feel like it would be better uh, to be more advertised and get some more foot traffic in here. That would definitely help a lot. Right. Next, we're headed to a vegan restaurant, and they focus on vegan options, including vegan junk food. What inclined you to work here? Okay, so I a lot of people think that being vegan means you have to be healthy all the time and you can only eat like fruits and vegetables and grass. But here we have like junk vegan. We have like Philly cheesesteak wraps, you know, super sugary cakes, just things like that. And I really love that because it makes veganism more inclusive to everyone. Right. Um, so what are some things that you wish um, people knew about the market? I wish they knew how many different vendors were here and that how local everything is. You know, it's not, nothing is really corporate or anything like that. It's things, it's people from Louisville who are making things they love. So. Okay, so um, what's your first impressions of the Logan Street Market so far? Uh, I thought it was pretty fancy and big and uh, I wondered if people from the community have boots here. Right. Um, 
And what what change do you hope that this creates in the local community? Um, honestly, I hope people from the neighborhood utilize it. You know, I hope it becomes a spot that, like, of course people are going to come from all over the city, but it would be cool if, like, people that live across the street could pop in here and have, like, a, a definite service or, like, purpose. I, like, uh, last time I came, I was like, they should have tutoring or, like, after school tutoring right. in here. Something that people could, like, use without uh, such a high, like, exchange of money to be here. All right.